option that I can absolutely recommend to you is the command var dump. What it does? Well, it takes a variable and dumps it readably out. So what we want to do is we want to dump our get variable. So everything that is submitted here on the top, we want to dump it out and see what it is. Okay, so I just say var dump dollar uh, underscore get and in, in this variable underscore get is all the get variables. So if I run it, you see we get an array which has f name, which is a string of to test, and ln name, a string to last. Now, wasn't that easy, I'd say. Right, so what, you want, what we want to do is, of course, we want to check if there is one of this data present. So um, PHP has associative arrays and normal arrays. So let me search here. What, what we want is um, PHP associative array check in if key exists exactly right there exists a very good function and it's called array key exists now that's pretty good so what we want to do is we say if of course like i said it's c very similar to c if key exists in get let me see the syntax um did i make no mistake right uh okay so it takes the search key, key basically and then the array Okay, so we have to swap it. So if the key exists, you know, the user has given us f name, which is the field that we have specified here. Then we want to go to a different page, right? Um, so what we want to say is print hello. And now we can use the dot instead of plus to concatenate strings, get f name, okay? That sounds like something we want to actually print. Hey, H1. All right. So that looks good. By the way, if you forget semicolon or anything, you will get an error because your code doesn't work. Let me do it, show you. Nothing appears here. And you will see on the error message, you know, syntax error, no, 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 on line nine, eight. So that's why I really enjoy, you know, to print out and debug our error log in Apache, right? Like I shown you in the initial video. Okay, anyway, going back, let's fix this error that I, I, I did. Here we go, hello test, right? And if I'm Julian and I put it in, hello Julian, great. So now uh, you may say, yeah, this is doable with uh, JavaScript. Absolutely true, yeah? That's not what I not want to use it for. What I want to use it for is uh, that I want to create a file now and store the data given by this user. Okay, something that you couldn't do otherwise. So let me find out how this works, right? So I can just, you know, again, go Google PHP, you know, write file. I know actually how it's called, but I do search for it. So this is a great function. File put contents. So you see, W3 schools, they have a great, actually really great um, tutorials as well, but I really prefer the one on PHP manual because they, that's typically where I go. Okay, so it works. And typically the great thing about it is you get examples here. Okay, and so it's easy. We say file put contents, the file name and then current. By the way, all variables in PHP, they start with dollar. Okay, always dollar means there is a variable, okay? So let me do now file put contents and why not save it in, in a file called username.txt. Actually, that's dangerous by the way, yeah, to do it, but um, we'll do it, okay, for the purpose of showing you, right? Remember this happens on the server with the user www.data. By the way, I how, how about I make it a bit safer? I say uses, right, and then I, I put in you know, the username text, and I want to, what do what you want to put? Well, we want to put the last name, okay? So we put the username L name as part of the contents, and I can put any string that I like, um, you know, like hello, and then the last name, okay? Let's see. So what I need to do here, I need to 
uh, it will always work relatively to the position um, of my script. So users will be in the directory of webroot. So I create this directory, users, and I have to give it the permissions that the www um, user can basically write into it. So I do change mode 777, now everyone can write to it. And you see it's empty. Now I go here, I say, you know, Julian, and my last name is uh, Kunkel, and I say submit. Here we go. So let's have a look. And here you find the file Julian text, right? Now, hello, Kunkel, it's said, exactly as we programmed it. So as you see, um, that's uh, really easy to enact certain activities on the service and you can use PHP to actually run more complicated applications, maybe Z, Java, what have you, and then input something given by the user. So you can use it as glue between your whatever backend software you have and connect it to the, w, to the World Wide Web, basically. That's why I find it really convenient. Good, so that was really a very quick introduction to it. Um, I, I will have one more video in which I show how to build a basic RESTful API with it from JavaScript. Um.